AITA for not wanting to name my, 33M, son Jong Hyun? My wife, 32F, and I are expecting our first bundle of joy. We're absolutely thrilled. I personally can't wait to be a dad. The due date is April 21st. We're from Ireland. My wife has been a huge fan of the South Korean boy band Shiny since 2008. Their music apparently got her through a lot of tough times. Jong Hyun was a member of this group, he unfortunately passed away in 2017. From what I've read online about him, he seems to have been an amazing guy. My wife was devastated and she found out about his death and told me that when we'll have a kid and if it's a boy she's going to name him Jong Hyun in his honor. At the time, I didn't really take her seriously. The time has come though, and she's very serious about it. She wasn't joking. She even picked out the meaning, cause it actually depends on the Chinese, Hanja, characters you use, Zhang, lineage, ancestry, ancestor, clan and, Hyan, virtuous, worthy, good, able. She speaks Korean, I don't. I love how the name sounds, the nickname Zhang and the meaning but the issue is we're both 100% white, I'm literally blonde with green eyes, and she's ginger with blue eyes plus fair skin, legit as white as they come. I told her that I don't think this is appropriate because we have no Korean blood in us and she said that's not a problem since it's cultural appreciation and not appropriation. She told me she doesn't want to compromise when it comes to the first name and I can just pick whatever middle name I want and she's going to be okay with it. She said that this name means too much for her to give up on it, her favorite singer slash artist, born in the same year as her, our son is gonna be born in the same month as him, etc. Comments NTA. I think maybe your wife needs to stop thinking about what she wants and start thinking about how having a traditionally Korean name will impact your unborn child as they progress through life. You son would get shit for that from the first day of school. Absolutely this. Your child is not a tool for fangirling. It's a terrible idea to give your Irish child a Korean name because she likes the band. Suggests she has put very little thought into actually being a mum. But even if it was an Irish name you still both have to like it. Naming your child is always a two yeses one no deal. NTA. People use the bullying argument a lot when it comes to stupid names, which is legitimate. But more than that, it's completely unfair to saddle your child with your personal fandom before they're even born. It's pure narcissism. It's appropriate for a cat or a fish but not a whole ass human being who hasn't had a chance to establish their own identity yet. We prepare our children for the world but they don't belong to us. They belong to themselves. And if you name your kid Gandalf or Optimus Prime because it represents your hobbies, you're basically stamping your name on their forehead forever. There was a kid who posted here some weeks back whose parents are obsessed with Harry Potter and she and her siblings all have HP names and the poor girl just wanted nothing to do with HP. It's so unfair to a kid to force things on them. There was a post where a guy was actually named Optimus Prime and no one knew it until he sent out wedding invites with his real name on it lol apparently even the wife-to-be didn't know it until then. Dot was going by a regular name instead when he met people lol. I very much agree with the spirit of this comment and respect the decision of you and your partner on this. However, as someone who is mixed, seeing a comment that basically boils down to, if given the option, who would choose to have a child like you? Yes, being mixed has led to many difficulties and racism in my life. It's harrowing to the extreme. Most other people I've met with a similar experience also have a similar set of never-ending identity issues. But I have to say that the implication that having mixed children is giving them a disadvantage from the get-go is a new one for me. I'm unsure how to exactly further word how deeply hurtful this was to read. And I only bother mentioning this because you seem like a well-intentioned person, and I know the aim here wasn't to be so. As someone in an interracial relationship and the parent of a mixed child, I also found this comment really uncomfortable. 
I understand it's different when you are choosing a donor but I don't think it's imposing something on your child to have them share ethnicities with their parents, nor is it a failure to consider the needs of a child or put them first. It's also a completely different situation to just giving the child an unusual name. Okay. I'll be the one to point it out. If I read OP's post correctly, the very issue at hand here is that the child would have a cultural name from a completely different culture. Both parents are as white as they come. They're concerned the child will be bullied because the child is white and has a Korean name. I'm sure it would be a non issue if one of the parents was Korean. NTA. Kids' names is a strict two yes, one no decision. Either parent can veto a name choice, no questions asked. And seriously, don't do this to your child. Kids can be cruel, and bring a pale white boy with a Korean name is an invitation for bullies. Yes, please think of what your child's experience will be like with this name. Highly, highly likely, they will resent it. Don't let your wife prioritize her fangirl passions over doing what is in the best interest of your son. I'm Korean American and luckily my parents were thoughtful enough to give me a Western name, on top of my Korean name. But growing up there were plenty of other Korean kids who didn't have one and got teased for going by their Korean names. Imagine your teacher just butchering your name because they can't pronounce it correctly and the entire class laughing. That's tough for any kid to take. It was hard enough for a lot of Koreans to go by their given names so I can only imagine what it'd be like for your non-Korean kid to deal with that. It's cool that the name has a deep meaning for your wife, but it definitely seems like she hasn't fully thought this through. NTA the pronunciation is another interesting aspect of this. Not that Zhang Hyun is a hard name to pronounce for a native English speaker, but it does have a couple of phonemes that aren't in English and takes a little extra effort to pronounce accurately. This kid is not going to grow up speaking Korean, so he will rarely use those sounds except when he says his own name. He will either seem to be making a point of using the correct Korean pronunciation despite not speaking Korean, or he'll relax into an anglicized and incorrect way of pronouncing his own name. Either way, it'd be awkward. Came here to say exactly this. In no circumstances can one parent not budge on a name when the other has said no. Either we both agree or the kid doesn't get the name, and that doesn't mean that wife gets one name on her list and says no to everything else out of spite. Also want to add, even if wife thinks it's cultural appreciation, it's more on the end of cultural appropriation. This person didn't know who she is and it is not an honor to him at the end of the day. My name is Sean, which I realize is a very common name, but at ISNT here in Germany. Until 10 years ago most people failed to pronounce it right and everyone butchered it. I was bullied in kindergarten for it. But the thing is, my parents taught me how to handle it, and I was also bullied in school for standing up for a friend, or for not having the right clothes. I learned to deal with it, too. Kids can be very cruel, and you can not prevent bullying anyway. I don't think you should always try to fit the norm. And I always loved my name, no one could take that from me. The only issue I have with this post, is that the wife puts her opinion over his, when they should decide together. Otherwise I really don't see any issue at all with the name. I get where you're coming from, but I think there's still a difference between a German guy with an Irish name and an Irish kid with a Korean name. Not in the least because Western people, where OP's son is still likely to spend the majority of his life, are a lot more familiar with names from other Western cultures than they are with Korean names. Either way, Wanting to overrule your partner and it comes to naming your kid is bad, and wanting to put your personal fandom on your child is worse. Just ask the girls named Hermione or Daenerys. NTA. Man. Look. I'm Chinese. I disagree most times when people call things cultural appropriation, e.g. liking, wearing traditional Chinese clothes, liking the food and so on. 
I think those people appreciate the culture and in turn I also appreciate them. But a name is an entirely different issue, and the thought of a Western person without any Asian ancestry having an Asian name just gives me weird vibes. Probably because the name is a huge part of the identity, and it's permanent, not temporary. I would feel distinctly uncomfortable if I meet such a person with such a name, who will essentially also have no cultural knowledge of the place the name originates from. I think that really leans into cultural appropriation, unless you plan to raise the kid with proper Korean traditions in his life, move to Korea, etc. I think it's alright to have a nickname that sounds something like it. It's alright to have a western spelling, looking name, first or middle, that sounds like it. But spelling it exactly the way it's spelled, means you're telling people Korean culture as part of this child's identity. That's just not true and it feels wrong. Part native Hawaiian here. We experience a lot of non-indigenous people that name their children a Hawaiian name. Sometimes it's just because they came to Hawaii once, or often if they can afford it. I get it we don't own the right to tell people what to name their children, but it still doesn't sit well. Since traditionally there is a ritual of sorts involved with naming a child, usually in the forms of honoring ancestry, or dreams, or meditation and other practices. Sometimes even waiting until the baby is born, so the baby is given a name that commemorates that day. I myself am named after my great aunt. Anyway I can speak from experience how it can be unsettling to meet someone with no cultural affiliation or upbringing, that shares a name with your culture. Unfortunately we're used to it, since our culture is literally, very much appropriated, such as words like, mana, businesses that use, aloha, or, ahana, etc. Op is definitely NTA. NTA. Listen, I find that your wife wanting to honor Zhang Yun as a nice way of remembering someone who helped her through dark times. But she needs to look at how that name is going to affect your kid. Not everyone is going to know the backstory to his name and it's not your wife who is going to deal with the bullying and heckling for his name, it's your son. Your white son is going to attend a school in Ireland with a Korean name even though there isn't a drop of Korean blood or Korean culture that gets celebrated in your home. Your wife learning a language is one thing, but actually learning the culture is another. At best, it will be seen as cultural appropriation because she's only naming her son a Korean name after an idol. At worst, she'll be the reason your son gets bullied in school. NTA obviously, you can't name a white western child after a dead Korean pop star, for half a dozen reasons. How about choosing him a name that either sounds like, or has the same meaning as, the singer's name? A quick search suggests Oliver Timothy as meaning the descendant of the ancestor and honorable. Or you could pick names with a similar sound. It isn't just that it's bordering on cultural appropriation. It's that it isn't fair on your son. He will spend his entire life explaining his name and being thought weird. Ideally we wouldn't live in a world where having a Korean name is a disadvantage unless you are in Korea, but that's the reality. Your wife can't change that by dogmatically hoping. NTA, that's extremely cringe and incredibly embarrassing. She does realize this idol had no idea who she was. It's just weird that she idolized this dude more than she respects you. It's yours and hers. Not K-pop guy and hers. To me, this sub would melt down if a man decided he was gonna name his child Kim Kardashian, because he idolized her, this is no bloody different. It's cringy it's wrong and is selfish. The wife isn't thinking of what's best for the babe, but what's best for her, and that is grossly immature. OP, you're so NTA, looking out for your child, and wanting equal input. If it were me, I'd be making this a hill to die on. Given the child will be whiter than white, a full-blown Korean name is gonna set this kid up for a lifetime of explanations and bullying. Perhaps using an anglicized version as a middle name is an alternative you could push? NTA Both parents need to agree on their child's name. If one is not happy with the name, the name is out. She might want to honor John, but doing it against her husband's wishes and at the expense of her child, inviting bullying, confusion, and hassle for him his entire life when he has to explain why a white kid with no connection to SK has a Korean name, is not the way to do that. For the sake of your son, 
This might be a hill to die on. And TA the child will be teased regardless. All kids are, but it is not wise to paint a target like a foreign name. It isn't about cultural appropriation appreciation, but rather about what will work for your son. Fu I love the Irish accent, but that will likely also bastardize the pronunciation which could cause further issues regarding the correct meaning of the name. Yuso has good intentions, but she sounds obsessed, and might need some therapy, to deal with lingering issues, because it sounds like she is on a path to use her child as a surrogate for a deceased K-pop singer, that she's using to medicate. I'm a Korean and I clicked on the title thinking you it's nice to see a fellow Korean here on Reddit but you're Irish. And your wife is insisting on naming your child Jong Hyun. Well I guess there's nothing wrong with wanting to name her child after a singer who meant a lot to her. But I see two problems here, first that the child would probably be made fun of, because of the unusual name, and second that you as another parent aren't happy about the name. Even if the singer in question, had a common Irish name, or else you two were a Korean couple, I think it would be selfish of her to insist on it, although you don't- NTA I'm also a big fan of Shiny, and Jong Yun's death hurt a lot and hurts still. I get wanting to remember and honor him in some way, but this ain't it. I really like your idea of the nickname. Mention it in your conversation. I would suggest choosing names that start with J and H. A very general example would be James Henry. That would give your wife a low-key way to honor her favorite artist without causing bullying problems and culture mishaps. You could also look for names that mean shine, which would point back to both the band and Jong Yun's role in your wife's life. A child's name means a lot more than fulfilling the parent's selfish wants. The child has to live with that name for the rest of their life if they don't change their name. And it's a hassle.